Dad gum, there's a hot air balloon on the road. I'm not even lying. <laughs> you thought I was lying. There's actually a hot air balloon on the road. guys as you can probably tell I am in Sedona this Saturday morning I woke up super early and uh, drove on up here to Sedona I wanted to get a hike in and I wanted to visit Sedona so now I'm hiking in Sedona <laughs> it's a little before 8 a.m. so we got a good early start this morning and uh, we're heading up this. I'm doing the Bear Mountain Trail this morning. So, come on, you're joining me. Just started the hike and the hoodie's already coming off. <laughs> it's gonna be warm today. Also, if you guys don't know, Bear Mountain Trail is a pretty big, it's a pretty steep trail. It's about two and a half miles one way, but it gains about 2,000 feet, so it's a doozy of a hike. I look forward to it. Also, this will be my first hike in my new Danner boots. What better way to break them in than a hike in Sedona? <laughs> I guess we go straight up this. Let's get after it. Hat had to come off as well. Check out this view. That's so cool. I love it. These views are so incredible. Okay, now we're heading on top of this. Let's get after it. Thanks. Hey, how you doing?
I'll still come back for you guys. <laughs> Getting a good sweat going now. I'm not tired. You're tired. Look at these views. I still gotta go up that. <laughs> oh God, save me. <laughs> We're almost to the top. I can smell it. made it. Just views all around. <laughs> There's Mount Humphrey over there. This looks like a great spot to put the chair out. <laughs> So good. Can't beat this view. Sedona is beautiful. I love it here. It's so nice. Beautiful sunny day. Beautiful views. Can't beat it. Alright, I'm going to eat my snacks here, I think. No better place to have some snacks. And then I'll make my way back down this mountain. That was a beauty of a hike, beautiful. We were just all the way on the top of that. 
crazy. Now we're back at the car. And uh, see what else we can explore. Downside about Sedona is how busy it is. Look at this traffic heading back into town. That is ridiculous. It's just a line of ants, pretty much, just all the way back. This is heading north back into town, and you can't even, no one's even moving. I feel bad for anyone who lives here because that is rough. It's ridiculous. What's up guys? So it's actually been a couple hours since I last checked in with you guys. And now it is nearing sunset. And I'm just gonna head up this hill a little ways and try to get a cool little sunset spot. A little sunset viewpoint of all the red rocks. And uh We'll just see if we get some cool sunset shots. There were a bunch of clouds on the horizon, but it looks like it's starting to open up, so we might get a sunset. Fingers crossed. Regardless, it's beautiful out here. I mean, look at these views. Then you got Bell Rock back here. Right there. And this sun is fighting through on the horizon. We might get lucky. On sun, fight, fight, fight through. This this is a great view of Sedona. It's unbelievable. That mountain right there is the one we went up earlier today. Way over there. I was on top of that thing. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, it did not pop off. There's just too much clouds on the horizon. It was just blocking the sun the whole time. So no colors came through, nothing. It was kind of just a dud of a sunset, unfortunately. But the views are still spectacular. The city of Sedona all out there, tripod for pictures. And then you still have all these amazing red rocks. Didn't get the sunset I wanted, but that's how it goes sometimes. It is what it is but at least I still got to see some amazing views. So it's not all a loss. The views are still spectacular. That's Cathedral Rock, by the way. It's like impossible to get on that rock because there's never parking. Uh, so now I am gonna go back to my car. Um, my original plan was I was gonna car camp up here, but when I was scoping it out earlier, everything is closed. Like they have all these new signs up. I've never seen these signs before. There's all these new signs saying no camping, no campfires. They place these big boulders to block off all the outlets. You can't pull into them. So I don't know where I'm gonna camp. Um, I'm just gonna go back to my car and head over there. Just head over to some spots where I saw some campers earlier today and just maybe hopefully find a spot. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find something. <laughs> Um, if not, I'm just going to keep heading south until I do find something. And if I don't find anything, I'm just going to head home. <laughs> this will just be a day trip. So very much winging it tonight. It's a very, fingers crossed we find something and just hope for the best going with the flow. So I'm going to start heading back to the car. Okay. We found a car camping spot for a second there is looking pretty gloomy because I was driving around for like at least 30, 40 minutes and did not find one. Um, 
So for a second there, I didn't think I was gonna be able to find one. I was gonna have to drive two hours home, but we finally found one and we are good to go for the night. I passed about like 30 other campers and not one of them. What the? The flip off my thing, man. Flipping moth just landed on my GoPro and just sat there. But it is already pretty late, it's almost 10. And I am already so, so tired that I might just go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's a super, super bright sunrise this morning. And it is also Easter morning. So, of course, there is a super bright sunrise this morning because he is risen. He is risen indeed. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for your gift. I accept you as my Savior, Lord. And I praise you for the rest of my days. Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be a glorious, glorious day. I think I'm just gonna get up and head over to the trailhead. I wanna go on I wanna go on a canyon hike in Sedona. Maybe not even make coffee this morning. I know. I know that's crazy. That's crazy. But I might just wait until after the hike because I just wanna go get it done. Um especially because it gets so crowded that I just wanna beat the crowd. And if I make coffee it's gonna slow me way down. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. This was home for the night. Not the most glamorous spot ever. Right next to this road. Uh, cars are driving by all night long. Out in the middle of nowhere and there's cars all night long. Don't know why. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's cows way out there. And uh, they were mooing all night long. So uh, not the best car camping spot I've ever had <laughs> but it does the trick nonetheless we got some sleep it did what we needed it to that is Cottonwood the town of Cottonwood I'm pretty sure and then way up on this hill you guys probably can't see it is the city of Jerome the ghost town city so it's a cool area it's a cool little valley right here yeah that was our home for the night so home sweet home <laughs> That we'll get after this day so let's get going goodbye temporary home it was a pleasure thanks for having me Out here nice and early, getting an early start. It's a beautiful, glorious morning. Wonderful views already, sun is shining. Easter Sunday morning, he is risen. It's gonna be a good day.
Okay, so I know it said end of trail back there, but I found like this little side trail. It's like this little bushwhacking trail. And it kind of just follows this creek bed further back into the canyon. So I'm kind of just following this right now and seeing where it goes. Hopefully it leads to something cool. <laughs> wow, look at this. No idea where this goes. Okay, I finally reached the end, I think, because this canyon just kind of funnels back into this bowl, and then you're just surrounded by walls, and you can't go any further. Look at this. This is kind of like the end. It's just like this little bowl, kind of like a little waterfall right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's like a little waterfall right here. It's barely running right now, but yeah, this is like the official end of this canyon, because you literally can't go any further unless you rock climb. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Up at the top of this little bowl is like this cool little structure. It's like this perfect little like hut thing. Just below the waterfall. It's magical. So I figured, what better place than this to make a cup of coffee? And I made it for Instagram, so go check that out. What a great place for a cup of coffee. This is... It's unreal. Hey, you all right? Why are you falling over like that? <laughs> so this is all my coffee stuff. Made a fresh cup of joe. Cheers. So, so good. And the views even better. This is unbelievable. Okay, that was a glorious cup of coffee. Now I'm making my way back to the car. And uh, we'll see what else we can find.
Found a pretty cool spot here. Right next to the red rocks. Look at this view. It's insane. I decided I just wanted to find a cool place just to chill and relax and get some food, get some sun rays, and just kick back for a little bit. So this is the perfect place. Yes. What is up guys? I'm just hanging out, relaxing, getting some sunshine on my skin, enjoying the great views of Sedona, and uh, catching up on the Masters Tournament. I'm just streaming it live right out here in the desert. It's the final round of the Masters, so I gotta check in on it, see who's winning it. Uh, John Rahm is currently in the lead right now. So we'll see if he can pull it out. And uh, I'm also making a cup of coffee right now. Got the water boiling. Coffee's up here, ready to go. Cup of Joe is coming soon. Soaking up the sunshine, soaking up the views. We're just hanging out, so not much to film right now. I'm just enjoying Easter Sunday, taking in God's beauty, taking in the goodness of this life that God has given me. Thank you for your gift of salvation, Jesus, and I just praise you for all of this in Jesus' name. So yeah, we're just we're just here taking it all in, guys. Not not much going on, just relaxing, soaking up the sun, taking it all in. Uh, once I have this cup of coffee, though, I think I will start heading back into Sedona. Maybe go to a golf course and hit hit some golf balls just for fun, because I'm kind of feeling like doing that. And then we might try to find a little hike for sunset. And maybe tonight we'll have a better sunset, so. Cheers. Yet again, some more brilliant coffee views. And I apologize for my Casper whiteness. I'm working on it, okay? Right now, I'm working on it. <laughs> so good. So this is the current chill spot. That's the view. And fun fact is the hike we did yesterday morning, Bear Mountain, is right there. So yesterday I was sitting on top of this. That's crazy. relaxing spot thanks for having me it was a pleasure sorry I'm out of breath I just ran all the way up this trail to this spot probably about a mile we're back up here for sunset all of beautiful Sedona I ran all the way back up here for sunset just finished playing some golf a little way to end the weekend up here in Sedona. Let's see if uh, let's see if we get any good shots.
the sun is now officially down. Looking over beautiful Sedona. This was a fabulous, fabulous weekend. I love Sedona so much. It's so cool, so much fun to explore. So thank you Sedona for having me. Thank you for spoiling me this weekend. It was an awesome time. It was so much fun. And with that sunset, that will conclude this episode. That will conclude this adventure. That will conclude this weekend. So be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment on it what you thought. Comment if you've ever been to Sedona. Have you ever been here? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever explored here? And if you have, what was your favorite part about it? What was your favorite hike, your favorite restaurant, whatever? Like, what was your favorite part about Sedona? Leave that in the comments. Um, like this video. It helps me out more than you know. If you don't want to miss any more adventures, be sure to subscribe. I got my headlamp here because I'll be hiking back down in the dark, so I'm going to start getting down to my car. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here. Until next time, do not stop exploring, and we will see you guys in the next adventure.